Welcome to the Great Gatsby Unit Lesson 1. So today my A's will be at home, so this video is geared mostly towards you. If you are absolutely confused about what you should be doing, this is the place for you. So when you come to the website, now it should be bookmarked. If not, you can find the link on Google Classroom. You are going to open your calendar. And when you do that, you'll choose whichever class you are. And we're on Wednesday, so this is going to tell you everything you need to do. Bell ringer, you know how to do that. You already got it down. There will also be a PowerPoint. You need to go through slides 1 through 10. There will be a TED Talk video, a Google Classroom question to answer, and then a PowerPoint assignment, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. The next thing, once you know everything you're doing, you'll come over here to Weekly Lessons and click on the week that it is and you'll be brought to this page. Now it's Wednesday, so we'll drop down to Wednesday. And the first thing is our PowerPoint. So we're gonna to go to slide 10, this is lesson one. We're going to define the word perception and identify factors that influence perception, and then we'll also identify a claim of the speaker from the TED Talk video. We will start by watching the TED Talk video. It's right here um, in the with the YouTube link, so you can watch it right there. And then you're going to answer this question. According to the speaker, what determines our reality? Now, just kind of think about this question. We'll talk about it more in class when you return. Also, there's a Google Classroom question that you need to answer. And to do, it's going to... It's a paragraph. So you'll, what claim does the speaker make about perception? And then you will support your response with one piece of evidence from the video. Now, reminder about citing evidence. You need to lead the quote in, as in the speaker states, have a direct quote. That's word for word what the speaker says. So you will have to rewatch the video and write down what he says. And then you will have a citation, which is going to be Lidsky and then a period. If you would like, this is a sentence frame you can use as the first sentence of your paragraph. In what, in what reality are you creating for yourself? Isaac Lidsky claims, and then you would put right here his main claim in your own words. If you would like, this can be the first sentence of your paragraph, but it does not have to be. And once again, cite, we are going to cite our evidence correctly. And then um, we'll talk about this assignment shortly. So to get to the Google Classroom question, we will click on Google Classroom. And you will go to whatever class you're in. And under Classwork, you will go to the Gatsby section. And there's going to be an assignment. It's a question. Now, this question is a paragraph response. So you must write a full paragraph, five to seven sentences, and you need a piece of evidence. Here's your little rubric, five points if you meet the sentence requirement, five points if you have a correct citation, five points if your claim is clearly stated, that is that first sentence, and then five points if you clearly explain how your evidence supports the claim. And that is 20 points total for this assignment. Notice it is due. It says tomorrow because I'm making this video on Tuesday. It's due Wednesday at 11.59. No exceptions. We're not taking time in class to do things anymore that we should have done on our virtual day. After you answer that question, you are going to click on this PowerPoint, Perceptions and Influences PowerPoint. Now, here's the thing about this PowerPoint. Everybody in both classes has access to edit this PowerPoint. So people will be on here typing things and that's supposed to happen. Please note, Google tells me every edit that is made on this PowerPoint, when it was made, who it was made by, if they deleted it, if they left it, what they did with whatever they typed. So don't type something and think that I'm not going to see it. Now, to do, you're going to view the definition of perception on slide three, 
And then on slide four, type one thing you think influences people's perception on slide four. So the percept or the definition of perception, a way of regarding, understanding, or inter interpreting something. It is a mental impression or a synonym at your interpretation of something like the mental impression that you have about a thing, event, or person. Now on this slide, you are going to make a text box. You'll do enter or insert text box and just draw a little text box for yourself. You want to do a fun shape, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Make sure you change the color of the text because the background is black and then you would just type your answer. You can do whatever you want with your text box. You can make it small. I would rather it be small because many people will be typing on this. Um, and then you just leave it there. Now, if you want to put your name, you can, but Google tells me who typed it. And I will be checking this to make sure you did type an answer. So that is lesson.